When you performed the initial installation of Burp Suite Enterprise Edition, you probably chose to run the Enterprise Web Server and Enterprise Server on the same machine that you run scans on. However, running too many concurrent scans on the same scanning machine can cause performance issues. In this case, you might want to deploy one or more dedicated scanning machines to ease the load on your Enterprise Server machine. The setup process for a new scanning machine uses the same installer that you use for the initial installation of Burp Suite Enterprise Edition. However, you might need to download a different installer if your intended scanning machine uses a different operating system. On the machine you want to use, log into your account on portswigger.net. Under your licenses and products, download the installer for the same version of Burp Suite Enterprise Edition as it installed on your Enterprise Server machine. This is also available from our downloads page. Open the installer and follow the same process that you did when installing Burp Suite Enterprise Edition. When asked what you want to use the machine for, deselect running the Enterprise Web Server an Enterprise Server and select Running Scans. When prompted, enter the host name or IP address of the machine where you previously installed the Enterprise Server. External scanning machines automatically access the Enterprise Server on port 8072. When the installation is complete, you are given a fingerprint of the scanning machine's public key. You need to keep this to authorize the new scanning machine later. Log into the web UI as an administrator and go to the scanning machine settings page. On the authorization request tab, you should see a pending authorization request showing the IP address of the new scanning machine. Or, if NAT is being used on the network, the IP address from which the scanning machine's connection was received and the public key fingerprint. If you're using a standard deployment, as opposed to a Kubernetes deployment, choose the pool that the scanning machine will belong to. Compare the public key fingerprint shown with the one that you saved after setting up the new scanning machine. If they match, click Authorize. The scanning machine is now available for use on the scanning machine settings page, and you can start assigning scans to it.